Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about my badass rifle, the Modern Outfitters MC6. Soft, solid push. All right, guys, so I'm going to go over my setup of my Modern Outfitters MC6 rifle. Been running this now for two training seasons. Phenomenal freaking rifle. Um, I will tell you this, though, to get all of the little details that are in this rifle that I won't be able to cover and just the overview of my setup, uh, check in the link below. Jesse wrote a very detailed uh, picture. All the information you guys need to know about the little details that really set the MC6 apart. Um, so again, link in the description box below. Check that out as well as discount codes for rifles and all sorts of goodies in the description box. So we'll start from front to back on this rifle. Uh, first off, at the very front here, we have the Griffin Armament Hammer Comp. Probably my favorite muzzle device. Uh, not only does it keep the A2 profile uh, with it being shorter than like your typical two or three port muzzle devices, it is also silencer ready to support the taper mount. Above all that, taper mount silencer that is, above all that, this is just a flat shooting muzzle device without being overly concussive. So it's pretty nice to people around you, very nice for the shooter, as well it, it gives phenomenal uh, reduction in flash signature as well. So uh, keeps it neutral, keeps it flat, but is also silencer ready. So that's an awesome win. Uh, up next uh, is the light itself here. This is on the stock mount on the uh, Streamlight ProTac 2 rail mount. So the 700, 725, 750, whatever lumen amount that is. Uh, that's set up on here. Been run, running this for uh, almost two years, actually, I want to say. Been a phenomenal light on here. And I have that set up on the tape switch here. So you have the pressure pad up here that's just for uh, momentary and then the actual clicky pad back here for a constant on set up on the rifle which is in line with the uh, rail scales this is their g10 rail scales here in the honeycomb have that on uh, the both sides and the bottom again gives a little standoff uh, for heat if you do a lot of shooting in here uh, but also keeps it very gripper, grippy and it looks badass so uh, all the features right there uh, iron sight wise for backups, I have the Magpul MBUS Pros. You'll see right up here for front sight and here for the rear sight. Now you might be saying, well, if something went bad in your optic, how would you get to it? Well, uh, we'll go over the optic in a second here, but this is on a uh, American Defense Manufacturing QD mount. So I could take this off, ditch it, and deploy my irons if I needed to. But I don't think I'll ever have to because of the optic. This optic is the US Optics SR4C, which is just an amazing optic. Uh, you guys can actually catch our review on this optic on podcast. So if you guys aren't familiar with our channel, we do a show every week here on YouTube. We actually do exclusive content and reviews and shows on our podcast. So if you go to iTunes or open up your podcast app and your phone, search Practically Tactical in it, and you guys will get a bunch more shows and reviews that you don't get on YouTube which is the US Optics SR4C. This is a one to four optic with a red dot on the second focal plane. So the one to four is a first focal plane uh, mill hash. And then on the second focal plane, if I enable it with the push of a button, I have a red dot. So get the best of both worlds on there. Built like a rock, it's a little heavier for the optic, but the, the glass clarity, just like all of US Optics, is top notch, top of the line. And again, I have that set up in an American Defense Manufacturing QD mount. Um, and then trigger-wise, which is different than how they come, I'm just kind of going over everything I added, would be the Geisley SDE Super Dynamic E trigger. That is a two-stage trigger. Uh, been playing with two-stage a little bit. I like it a lot. So you got that first take-up, and then you have a really light but extremely clean break. Uh, again, Geisley makes some of the best triggers out there. So... Uh, phenomenal setup. 
So that's what I have added to the, to this rifle. I guess other than, uh, as you guys know, we have a review on this on the channel. Uh, my preferred sling is the Way of the Gun sling. Uh, super affordable, uh, really good features and reliable. I've been running these slings for several years now. But that's what I have added to this rifle. Again, there's so many unique features to this rifle. Check out the article. Uh, the rail itself is actually a true independent free float. It actually locks into the upper receiver up here. There's a little notch that it fits into. Uh, lightning where it needs to be reinforced actually up here uh, you know billet dust cover ambi safety it's got an ambi charging handle with a suppressed bleed off if you shoot suppressed which uh, as people are now getting into more shooting suppressed putting silencers on their guns uh, this is the big thing uh, with modern outfitters they actually optimize their rifles for suppressed shooting so it reduces the blowback still functions suppressed or unsuppressed but it comes again with a lot of other features too in regards to the buffer system and the BCG to reduce that blowback that just reduces the gas and makes it incredibly fun to shoot. And then I actually have the hexagonal cut barrel, again lightweight. Uh, without putting stuff on here, the rifle comes to you in right under 5 pounds, so it's a very lightweight rifle. So you can put all your goodies on here and not have a 12 pound rifle. So I think I've done enough talking, let's get set up here and do some shooting. Just an incredibly flat shooting gun. I was just transitioning between five targets there. So easy to do. The clarity of the optic uh, that this offers, uh, it's just bar none. The really nice thing is like it's starting to get a little bit darker out here. I can just with the push of a button, boom. Guess what? I now have a red dot that I can also adjust the brightness. So I can turn it up here. Cool, I got a nice crisp four MOA dot in the optic. Uh, is, uh, this optic is just phenomenal. Just a nice, soft, solid push, which again goes to their buffer system. Uh, it actually has a stacked buffer. Uh, so when the recoil comes back, it's actually not all the weight of the buffer slamming at the back at one time. It's stacked. It's It reduces, it's the same recoil as like a normal rifle, but it's like, Sharpness is a little reduced in it. It's kind of hard to describe, but just a soft shooting rifle. Uh, but let's let's do some more shooting. All right, guys. So I felt like that shooting was a little loud. So I think what we need to do here is dump our mag. And again, due to so the nice thing in was with the modern outfitters uh, MC6, you have a, a bunch of choices of muzzle devices that you can use. Uh, we'll get out of this here. Uh, so again, I think the Griffin Armament uh, Hammer Comp is one of the best out there. All around performer of what you're looking for, I, I would highly recommend that. So it comes supporting their taper mount. It, it comes with a taper mount, uh, or you can pick a taper mount uh, Hammer Comp. So what that does is it adds support for the Griffin Armament taper mount silencers. So uh, this is my uh, Griffin Armament Paladin silencer. Goes right on, super easy to do. And then now we will take a magazine. Boom. Now we're going to make it a little bit quieter. That's quiet. And again, too, the blowback, if, if you've done a lot of shooting suppressed, you kind of get used to the gassy face and smell and smoke on your glasses. This is just really reduced. You can still feel a little bit there. You're shooting suppressed, but it's greatly reduced. So let's get into this here. Boom. And again, the nice thing is too, is we just dumped, you know, a couple mags here. Everything is absolutely cool uh, on the rail itself here. You, we've done a ton of shooting on these rifles and it takes a lot of shooting to get them hot. Again, it really comes back to their design of the rail itself here uh, with the true free float, especially like here, like there's no warm right here. Uh, again, I have the rail scales on here to help just in case, but just a phenomenal soft shooting rifle filled with a lot of features that I haven't even talked about in this video. Again, check in the description box below. I'll give links to the review on the optic, uh, more details on the rifle itself here, uh, but it's just a phenomenal rifle. Uh, and again, uh, check out the article. And again, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit like, 
subscribe to the channel here. We'll bring you guys a full review of our rifles uh, in the near future on video. Uh, but yeah, there it is, guys. Modern Outfitters MC6. Uh, one of their flagship rifles. Phenomenal rifle. Tons of features. Go check them out at Modern-Outfitters. Check us out on Patreon if you want some exclusive video content on this rifle and more. We'll catch you guys in the next video.